this song on page 66. Vaishnava Vignapti. Narakam Das Thakur. Vaishnava Vignapti. And this book is. Para Karuna Koro Vaishnava Gosha Yeah. 
Aheti sadveti rishaya sarishvara Aheti sadveti rishaya sarishvara Mauyer makundam vikiranta idhire Mauyer makundam vikiranta idhire Sakundalam charuti tabhushanam Sakundalam charuti
There is no purport. We'll read text number twenty-three. The goddess of the earth then approached Lord Krishna and presented him with Aditi's earrings, which were made of glowing gold inlaid with shining jewels. She also gave him a Vajayanti flower garland, Varuna's umbrella, and the peak of Mandara mountain. Text 24. O king, after bowing down to him and then standing with joined palms, the goddess, her mind filled with devotion, began to praise the Lord of the universe, whom the best of demigods worship. Goddess Bhumi said, Abasances unto you, O Lord of the chief demigods, O holder of the conch shell, disc, and club, O supreme soul within the heart. You assume your various forms to fulfill your devotee's desires, obeisances unto you. Thus, 
text 26. My respectful obeisances are unto you, O Lord, whose abdomen is marked with the depression like a lotus flower, who are always decorated with garlands of lotus flowers, whose glance is as cool as the lotus, and whose feet are engraved with lotuses. 二十六節,我向你的谷子,東京的頂白,我主,你的風暴標記著如一朵蓮花的落紅,你總是被色以蓮花花,蓮花花花,你的皮是像蓮花般清涼,你的足上人刻著蓮花。Purport by the commentators. Queen Conti offered this same prayer which is found in first canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam, chapter 8, text number 22. The synonyms and translation given here are taken from Srila Prabhupada's rendering of that text. You may also note that although Kunti's prayer occurs early in the Bhagavatam, she offered it many years after the incident described here. 要指寬替皇后在聖典國家行第一篇第八章第二十二節詩節供奉過同一首土文這裏吸出的詞意解釋和譯文集自聖巴布巴那一詩節的翻譯我們也可以注意到儘管寬慈在的土文在聖典國家
A woman gives birth to a child, naturally she will have greater affection and attachment to that child. But here in this particular case, Bumi knows that her son has been very demoniac. And she also understands that Lord Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So the Personality of Godhead has come there and killed her son. It's a blessing for her son. But her, her son had had uh, done a lot of uh, nonsense, he created a lot of disturbance. So it was mentioned how uh, Mother Bumi came and returned some of the different things which her son had stolen. First of all, it mentioned Mother Aditi's earrings. Mother Aditi is the mother of the demigods. And this demon Boma had stolen her earrings. Then he'd also taken Varuna's umbrella. Of course, we should understand the significance of the umbrella. You know, we think, well, well, well who cares about an umbrella, you know, we keep them at the door, anybody who wants can take one. But it's not, Varuna's umbrella is not like that. Varuna is the god of the ocean. And he has a royal umbrella. So that umbrella signifies that he's a, he's a ruler. So this, this demon Boma had taken away this. And then he taken also the peak of the Mandara mountain. He taken the peak of it because that's the, where the playground of the demigods, where the demigods go to enjoy. Just like Hong Kong people go to Utong Shan. What's that one in Shenzhen? Right, they go and they walk up in the mountain and they get a relief from the heart. So the same way demigods they go to Mandara Mountain. So this demon Boma would be taking these things. And he, he didn't stop there, but he took all the young women. Sixteen thousand of them. Wow, he, he was really an enjoyer. Huh? <laughs> so he really wanted to enjoy to the maximum. This is demonic mentality. <coughs> so Krishna had to come and take this, and he had to come and uh, kill this demon. <laughs> and free free the, 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 all these ladies who were being held prisoners. Even Indra had approached Krishna for help. Indra was not able to take to, 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 to uh, deal with the situation. So he came to Krishna and asked Krishna to Mother Aditi should get her earrings back from this demon. 
咁於是咧誒呢個就同 Krishna 講啦啊，之前母親咧要攞翻佢嘅耳環。So many other things the demon has done, he has to be there has to be he has to be punished. But Indra couldn't do it, so Krishna has to do it. And so Krishna came and he killed this demon. And so then Mother Bhumi returned the things, the items which he, her son had stolen. So then, Mother Bhumi, the devil of the sun, then, uh, uh, gave Krishna, then, returned the things which he had stolen. And now we're hearing her prayers, which she offers to the Lord. So then, we're hearing her prayers, which she offers to the Lord. So then, we're hearing her prayers, which she offers to the Lord. In the first verse, she describes him as being the chief of the demigods. So first, she describes him as being the chief of the demigods. Oh, no, no, she says the Lord, the Lord of the chief demigods. Namaste Deva Deva. So the, the Krishna is not just any ordinary demigod, but he's a, the he's a supreme over the, the form of Krishna is the form of the soul within the heart, the supreme soul, the super soul. And that you have come to fulfill your devotee's desire. So the devotee's desires, Indra and the other demigods who were feeling the To keep the the demigods in power. So, so that Krishna is always going to come to help Indra, to make sure that the demigods can continue to keep the demigods in power. Then Srimad Bhagavatam says, "Ite chamsa kala punsa Krishna is two Bhagavan Swayam, Indriyani vataram ora nrida yanti yuge." Krishna eti chamsa kala pumsa Krishna stu bhagavan swayam indriyani pramatini indriyani pramatini I can't I have to look at it anyway it's about Indra he's helping Indra to keep position that when there's any disturbances for the demigods then Krishna comes to help. To adjust this situation. So, 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 And the super soul in the heart is also one of his forms. And he, the, the, the Lord comes to, to, to fulfill the desires of his devotees. So then Mother Bhumi then goes on to uh, describe The, some of the features of Lord Krishna. <coughs> right, she mentioned in the previous verse, she mentioned the Sankha Chakra Gada, the Sankha, the Conchial, the Chakra, the Surasan Chakra, and the Gada, the Club. So she mentioned only three, but Krishna has four arms, right? He also has the lotus flower. So this is mentioned in the next verse in great detail. No, it was it, this prayer is spoken first by Bhumi, by the goddess of the earth there. Because Queen Kunti, she offers her prayers 
after the Kurukshetra War. 因為咧係昆帝皇后咧係向 Krishna 咧係誒獻上呢個寵物咧，就係喺呢一個誒 Kurukshetra 戰役之後嘅。嗯，所以。Many years before Kurukshetra。咁咧呢呢、这個寵物誒地球女神獻上呢個寵物嘅時候咧，係其實比起誒。呃 So she describes how Lord Krishna's abdomen is marked with the depression, like the lotus flower. 咁喺度咧就描述到 Krishna 嘅腹部咧係標記著一個好似一朵蓮花嘅粒紅。Of course, the lotus flower of Lord Brahma, where Lord Brahma takes birth. That comes from the navel of Garbhodaksha Vishnu. 咁誒主 Brahma 佢出生嘅時候，坐喺嗰個蓮花嗰個嗰朵蓮花徑咧，其實就係由 Garbhodaksha Vishnu 嘅肚子嗰度咧係生出嚟嘅。And so Lord Brahma, in every universe, there's a Garbhodaksha Vishnu laying on the Garbhodaksha ocean, and he lays down on the ocean, and from his navel comes the lotus flower. 咁喺每一個宇宙都有呢一個誒 Garbhodaksha。誒嘅海洋啦，而而家嗰個 Shine Vishnu 咧就係躺喺呢個海洋當中啦，而就係生出一朵蓮花咧，就係主方咧就喺嗰度出生。So different parts of Lord Krishna's body are also described to be like a lotus flower。咁主 Krishna 嘅身體嘅好多部分咧，其實都係被描述咧係好似一朵蓮花咁樣。Right, he has lotus hands。佢有蓮花嘅手啦，佢有蓮花足啦，佢有蓮花嘅眼睛啦，佢有蓮花一般嘅嘴唇，蓮花一般嘅面。然、mm、後 -hmm. abdomen has the depression mark like the depression of a lotus。咁而佢嘅腹部咧就有一。Particularly likes to wear the garland of the lotus flower. Then it said his glance is as cool as the lotus. So lotus flowers are cooling. You look at a lotus flower, it's, it's cooling and refreshing. The lotus flowers are very beautiful. You see them in the lake, you see the flowers, and the lotus flowers, they look very beautiful. So the, the lotus is a symbol of beauty. 如果你前頭度見到蓮花嘅時候，你會覺得非常之靚啦。咁呢個蓮花係代表住咧，叫誒美麗。So Lord Krishna's his glance is described to be cool. It's, it's not angry. It's not you know, harsh or cold, but it's cool. It's cool. 咁所以咧喺度咧係誒非常嘅意思咧，形容好似蓮花般嘅清涼啦，就唔會話好兇惡啊。And the lotus flower is also one of the symbols marking the lotus feet of Krishna. Of course, lotus flower is actually the symbol of the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi. 咁其實咧，蓮花咧就係代一個誒係幸運女神 Lakshmi 嘅一個象徵。So the fact that the lotus flower is one of the symbols on the lotus feet of Krishna. Indicates that Lakshmi is the property of Lord Krishna. 咁所以咧係誒 Krishna 足上邊嘅有隻蓮花嘅印記，即係代表咧 Lakshmi 咧幸運女神咧，其實係誒 Krishna 嘅一個誒係 Krishna 嘅財產。Lakshmi is the the goddess of fortune, all wealth. 
So Lord Krishna, he doesn't have to worry about wealth because he always has the goddess of fortune there with him. The goddess of fortune is is known as Chanchala or restless. You know, like young child is restless, difficult for them to stay in one place. So Chanchala wealth is like that, it's difficult to keep it. You get wealth, how long can you keep it for? Just like America used to be a rich country. But they, you know, it's, it's not so rich anymore. There's a lot of poverty there. In the same way now we think, no, China's a rich country now. But how long will it be rich? It won't, it won't last for long. India used to be the richest country in the world. But fortune changes. The goddess of fortune, she gives blessing and then at one point then she gives a blessing and she takes it and goes some other place. Because she is Changchou, she is restless, she doesn't like to stay in one place. But she's always chased the Lord and the Supreme Lord. So she's a consort of the Lord Narayan, and that Lord Narayan is not different from Lord Krishna. So in this way, Mother Bhumi is describing some of the characteristics of Lord Krishna. Well, then she goes on in text 27. Continuing to offer her prayers. Abasances unto you, the Supreme Lord Vasudev, Vishnu, the primeval person, the original seed. Abasances unto you, the omniscient one. So you can see Mother Bhumi has a full realization of Lord Krishna's that, that he is Vasudev Vishnu. He is the original seed. In other words, everything comes from him. And he is omniscient, he knows everything. Right? The Lord is omniscient. He knows it. Why did how does he know everything? Because he's everywhere. He's in everyone's heart. It's a super soul. Then she goes on and takes 28. Ab Obeisances unto you of unlimited energies, the unborn progenitor of this universe, the absolute, O soul of the, O soul of the high and the low, O soul of the creative elements, O all-pervading supreme soul, obeisances unto you. 二十八節,這個女神繼續,我向有無限能量的靈頂拜,你是這宇宙不曾出現的本源,絕對者,高等皇帝等的靈魂,受造元素的靈魂,高等皇帝等的靈魂,受造元素的靈魂,高等皇
So the, this is the position of the Supreme Lord, Parashya Shakti Vivadaiva Shriyate, that he has inconceivable potencies. Mm. Uh, we have some potency, but everything we know is limited. Our energies are all limited, but the Lord is unlimited. And his unborn progenitor of this universe, he never takes birth. But he's progenitor of the universe. Right. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna said, although I'm unborn, my transcendental body never deteriorates. I, I, I still appear in every millennium. So this is the position of the Supreme Lord. His Bhumi describes him as the soul of the high and the low. Soul of the created element. So it's everywhere in everything. So she describes him as all pervading supreme soul. So she's described him as omnipotent, having all potencies. And omnipresent, he's everywhere. And he's omniscient, he knows everything. So, so this is the supreme absolute truth. Text 29. Desiring to create, O unborn master, you increase and then assume the mode of passion. You do likewise with the mode of ignorance when you wish to annihilate the universe and with goodness when you wish to maintain it. Nonetheless, you remain uncovered by these modes. You are time, the Pradhan and the Parush, O Lord of the universe, yet still you are separate and distinct. <coughs> 於是採納了激情形態,同樣地方你想毀滅宇宙時,你便採用原會形態,而你想維係時便採用善良形態,但是你卻保持不被這些形態所覆蓋,這是時間,物質自然的,我創造這Purusa,哦宇宙之主但
Krishna 係從來冇出，係冇出生過嘅主人啦。但係佢咧就誒想咧係誒創造呢個宇宙。And in order to begin the creation, initiate the creation, it has to be the mode of passion. 咁當佢要誒創造呢個宇宙嘅時候咧，佢咧就要有呢一個嘅激情嘅形態。So we know Lord Brahma is given responsibility for the secondary creation. 咁所以咧誒，主巴文咧就係被賦予咧呢個第二次創造嘅呢一個嘅誒工作。But the primary work of creation comes comes by Lord Vishnu. 咁但係咧誒第誒第一次嘅創造咧係由主 Vishnu 嗰度所誒做嘅。And then for for creation, it has to be there has to be this passion to get them to get something done to get something going. 咁必須咧有激情嘅形態咧，先可以咧能夠係去創造啦，同佢去誒做一啲嘢。And then to maintain it, there has to be this mode of goodness. 咁要。Which we see from Lord Vishnu. 咁如果要維係嘅話咧，就需要有善良形態啦。咁咧就係由主 Vishnu 係去做嘅。So when Lord wants to maintain, then he assumes the mode of Vishnu and the mode of goodness. 咁如果主要去維係嘅時候咧，佢就會以誒主 Vishnu 啦，係主呢個善良形態咧，再出誒出現。And then to annihilate, there has to be this mode of the the mode of ignorance. 咁如果係要去毀滅嘅時候咧，就必須咧係要有呢個愚昧形態。And the Lord assumes the form of Lord Shiva to do that。咁主就以主 Shiva 嘅形象咧出現咧嚟到誒履行呢一個嘅工作。And so the modes of nature are responsible for creation, maintenance, and destruction。咁所以咧，物質自然三種自然形態咧，就係咧誒負責呢一個創造啦、誒維係啦同埋毀滅。And Lord Krishna arranges for all these things。咁而主 Krishna 咧就係安排呢一切。But Lord Krishna himself is never covered by these modes of nature. 咁但係主 Krishna 咧係從來都唔會俾呢啲物質形態所覆蓋。Krishna is above the modes. 誒 Krishna 咧係超越咗呢啲物質自然屬性。The modes are under his control. 咁咧係 Krishna 咧係控制住呢啲物質誒形態。So Bhumi, she she is glorifying Lord Krishna. 咁咧，地球女神咧，通過呢個方法嚟到咧，係去榮耀主 Krishna。And she said, you are also, you are time。佢都講到咧，你係時間。You are the pradhan。你係呢個物質自然 pradhan。Pradhan is the unmanifest stage of the material nature。咁咧係物質自然咧係未顯現嘅狀態。And Purusha, you are the Purusha. Purusha means the original enjoyer。咁咧，你係即係 Purusha 啦，最原始嘅享受者。But then she says, "Still, you are separate and distinct." 咁但係咧，你都講到咧，你係與眾不同，獨立獨行。So Krishna maintains his original individuality different from the material creation. 咁咧 ，Krishna 咧，就算係都誒喺呢個物質誒創造當中咧，仍然咧保留佢嘅獨立同埋誒特別嘅形態。So in this way, Mother Bhumi is glorifying Lord Krishna. 咁喺度咧，係誒地球女神咧，係喺度榮耀主 Krishna。Although her son is just being killed， 雖然咧佢兒子咧係啱啱被 Krishna 所殺死。She still shows her remarkable intelligence to offer wonderful prayers to Lord Krishna。佢咧通過。
related to the recent turmoil, political turmoil in Hong Kong, some devotees actually they, they joined the demonstration and also they expressed their opinion, political opinions. So how, how should the devotees stand in these issues? Well, generally we're not involved in any politics. We remain neutral. You know, there will always be some disturbances and upheavals in the course of material life. We have to go on with our devotional service. Our devotional service is more important than all of these political situations. Just like Prabhupada, when Prabhupada first met Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, he, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati was saying, we should preach the message of Lord Chaitanya. But Prabhupada was saying, well, India is not independent yet. We have to get independence. We have to get free. Krishna consciousness cannot wait for some political adjustment. So, we've got more important things to do than worry about political we have more important things to do, chanting Hare Krishna, preaching Krishna consciousness. Incident that one of the main freedom fighters approached Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. Freedom fighter at that time. Mm. 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 Shubhas Chandra Bose. Was arguing about freedom from India, from the British, and this and that. And Siddhanta Saraswati responded, You're thinking of the British so much, in the next life you'll become a British Freedom, freedom from the British in the next place, you'll be the British. But Maharaj, devotees are still under the control of the mode of nature. So what to do? Just like they participate in something like that to show their passion. 奉獻者都是受制受制這個物質自然屬性所影受制於這個這樣嘢啦咁所以好似奉獻者都會係去做嘗試威啊遊行啊咁樣咁咁點呢呢個我們是我們是我們是我們是我們是我們是我們是我們
Greek or <laughs> no, we should chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> Because she knows her son was a demon. And he got what he deserved. And so she is appreciating Lord Krishna's kindness. So he was doing so many bad things, you know, he was going to hell. But Lord Krishna saved him. So she is very grateful to him. Because she's a devotee. She understands the real nature of her son. It's not the body. 